beef stew in slow cooker recipe with pastry tops and a few people saw this on my social media and said please i want to know how to make that yep it's simple but it is delicious Take 400 grams of stewing beef and pop it in a frying pan dry and what you want to do is just braise and fry that off so it's nice and brown. Then you're going to remove it from the pan and then add in one tablespoon of olive oil. Add in one onion that's been diced, one carrot that has been diced and one celery stick that's been diced. Then you're going to stir that round for a few moments until the onion goes translucent. Then in goes one tablespoon of mushroom ketchup and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Also add in a bay leaf. Then you want 600 millilitres of really good beef stock. And then you can pop the meat back in. Now I'm going to be slow cooking today in my mini electric cooker, otherwise known as Mum's CD player. Yeah, that's one of my cheeky sons. But all jokes aside, this is great. It can even do yoghurt and I've cooked on boats with it, caravans and even camping. So I'll put a link in the bio to it if you're interested. So you want to slow cook for around about three and a half to four hours. Now, if you are making the separate pastry tops, then preheat your oven to 200 degrees centigrade at least three quarters of an hour before the cooking time finishes. I'm using a block of puff pastry rather than the ready rolled because I want to roll it out on a floured surface to around about two centimeters thick. And then really you can cut it to any shape you want. Even if you've got cookie cutters, you can use those. Place them on a baking tray. Then I pop some diagonal slashes across. And I also cover with a milk wash before putting in the oven for around about 25 minutes to half an hour. Now back to the beef stew, you want to take out around about four tablespoons of the cooking liquor, add to it one tablespoon of butter and then just sort of let it melt and mix round a little bit. And then you are going to add in one tablespoon of corn flour and mix that well. Add this mixture to your slow cooker for at least half an hour before serving and you will be left with the most glorious, glossy, beautiful beef stew. And as per husband's wishes, he's got his beef stew with pastry tops. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want the full written recipe, go to my website, cookingwithemily.co.uk.